This is RJ, my pet alligator, and this is a bunch of drumsticks. Now, I'm actually going to feed him these drumsticks, but for every drumstick that he eats, I am going to pick one of you guys down in the comments and donate a Reptile Army shirt. Now, all you have to do is go to ReptileArmy.com and tell me which shirt you would actually like, and for every chicken leg that he eats, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of you guys and send you a shirt. But I'm not just going to feed him these. I'm going to actually get in the water with them. Let's do this. Ooh. RJ, RJ, calm, 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 calm. Calm down, bud. Come on, up here. Ah. Woo! Come on, RJ. Up, up, up. up. There you go, buddy. Woo. Trying to get in the water with them, but he is not having it at all. Come on, number two, number two. Ah, there you go, buddy. Come on. All right, here we go. Woo! Tell you what, it's a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie to you. So that's two shirts that we're gonna be giving out so far. Come on, Arch. Come on. Up here, up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, RG. Up here, up here. Jump, jump, jump. Right here, up. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely sketchy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Come on, Arch, right here. Come here, Arch, 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 over here. Whoa, whoo. All right, that is three. That is three chicken legs. And I tell you what, it is definitely sketchy in here. We're gonna see what he's gonna do. So far three. Come on, RG. Oh, he's starting to submit, guys. Is three all it's gonna be? I don't know. Come on, Arch. Come on, chicken. Chicken dinner, chicken dinner. Still eating. There he goes. Come on, bud. Woo! Look at this. Come on, buddy. Up, 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 up. Arch, arch, up. There you go. That's four. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good job, RG. This is actually really fun. I mean, this is amazing. Come on, RG. Come on. Come on. Chicken, chicken. Chicken dinner, chicken dinner. Five. Five shirts so far. <laughs> Tell you what, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. RG, come on, bud. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Up, 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 up. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Tell you what, you gotta remember, he has 1,500 pounds per square inch of force in that. He grabs me and I'm gonna lose a leg or something like that. Truth is, I'm not gonna lose a leg, but I'm certainly gonna be in trouble. I'm going to the hospital, so I don't want that to happen. But wow, this is amazing. In the comments, go to reptileharmony.com. Tell me what shirt you like. We're just gonna keep this going until he stops. One more. Here he comes. Come on, Arch. Here he comes. Up here, up, 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 up. There you go. That's number six. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. One more, one more. That is number seven. Seven shirts so far. I'm gonna run out of shirts, guys. All right, one more. Up, 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 up. RG, up, 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 up. Woo! Come on, RG. Come on, come on. Oh, no! That's it, woo-hoo! I took a look how close he is. This is so freaking tough, I love it. Here it comes. Now, I have never been inside with RJ ever feeding him. Up, 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 there we go. And that is number nine. Let's see if we can get the 10. RJ, you want a 10? Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. You want one more? Come on, buddy. Come on, RJ. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Well, guys, it looks like, wait, wait, maybe not. Come on, RJ, you want one more? Come on, bud. Come on. You got it, you got it in you. Come on, there you go, buddy. Up, 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 Awfully close. So it looks like 10 is the number. It looks like RJ is done. That's 10 free shirts down in the comments. Let me know which shirt you want the best. So I've got two chicken legs left. Let's just go ahead and up the ante and see if Bowser will actually eat them. And if he sees, I'll go ahead and give all 12 shirts away. Again, link in the description for the Reptile Army. Go ahead and tell me which shirt you like the best. Okay, let's see what happens. Bowser, you want a chicken leg? Chicken, chicken. Chicken dinner. Come on. Come on, Bowser. Oh, he got it. So that's 11. If he eats this one and one more, that's 12 free shirts. So let's go ahead and see what happens. This is awesome. I'm having such a fun morning. Let's go for 12. Come on, Bowser. Come on, Bowser. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. Right here. Oh, yeah. That's it. 
All right, guys, that's it. All 12 drumsticks fed off. That means there's 12 people that are getting free reptile army stuff. Go ahead and let me know which shirt you like the best. I absolutely love this snake right here. Well, I love all my snakes, but this is actually a banana clown ball python. And you know, the breeding season really started back in November, putting males in with females for the very first time. This particular male is about to go in with another female. And the fact is, is that it's about consistency. And you know, we are kind of getting to the end of the breeding season in a way where a lot of the females are done. A lot of the females are close to being done. I would say we have about another month of breeding, but we're only breeding about maybe 25% of our females because the other ones are either gravid or some haven't, but the vast majority are already gravid. So it's, uh, it's amazing to think that that journey that started all those months ago is about to come to an end as far as the breeding and then all the eggs are being laid. So it's gonna be super exciting. So today I just have to put all my males in with all my females that are still breeding and uh, continue the process until until they actually ovulate. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and roll the time lapse. Oh, and while I'm setting up this time lapse, Jay, go ahead and roll some funky music. Get away, stop. Don't, Jay. You don't let Mars fall, he's mine. Jay. Oh, he's not putting that back leg down either. Jay. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you when you get this. Oh my God. Get off. Jay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you so hard the balls. Don't let him fall. Stop, stop, get him off. Get him yeah, off. already you did. Jay, get him off. Get you off. Good job, no. Mars. Yes, he's <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. And that's all she wrote. All the males are in with females, so tomorrow we'll check for locks. I tell you what, we don't have a lot of females left to breed, which is really good news. Gonna be a banger of a year. Egg time song is coming. It's coming soon, guys. Egg time! You guys know how much I love my boega or my mangrove snakes, right? And I want to show you just how they're doing right now. This, of course, is the Gemacincta, which, of course, is that really heavily banded animal, right? And it's kind of cool. It's got really lots of bands compared to a normal mangrove. But, of course, down here, it turns almost from yellow to reddish orange bands. Now, the thing that's interesting is that as these grow up, they lose all of their bands and turn jet black. I mean, that's right. It turns into a jet black mangrove. It's kind of cool that it looks like this is a baby, and I almost wish it would stay like this in a lot of ways but the fact is is that jet black mangrove is pretty awesome too and these guys are doing so good i've got a pair of them so hopefully in a couple years we'll be able to breed these monkeys Woo! now these are actually more the normal whoa come on come on whoa 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 don't bite me don't bite me okay he's going up he's oh whoa. okay so these are like the normal mangroves or the melanotas whoa geez show peach dude what's up buddy this guy is pissed off oh he is not uh, he is not happy at all. But you can see that these have a lot less bands. And the melanotas, actually, the bands typically don't go all the way over the top. They actually stop. But you can see it certainly has a lot less bands than the Gemacincta. But whoo, doggy, this little monkey is feisty. Sir, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. And then, of course, this is the Multicincta. So it's kind of interesting because it's a little bit like the Gemacincta with the lots of bands, but it doesn't have the orange and red in it. The good news with these ones is that they actually keep all of those heavy bands so it's really cool and of course my friend Lindsay gave us this one to put on display and uh, it's super tame it's nothing like that melanota one that was trying to kill me is it this thing is absolutely lovely super cool uh, it's probably one of my favorite of the boega to be totally honest with you because it has just those beautiful bands it's just absolutely glossy black I mean this is the contrast that you really are looking for right so again so many cool cat eye snakes or boega that's no doubt about it but there's just a few of the ones that we're working with I gotta show you something is it so, my birthday present? Oh. No. Uh, ooh, that's yeah. awkward. Okay. Yeah, awkward. So, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we got a clutch this year. Okay. Kind of interesting. I want to show you real quick. Am I going to be scared? Dude, check this out. What? Come look at it. Come look at it. You can see the snake. What? Dude, this looks like we have a dragon. Does this? Isn't this that cool? literally looks like we are raising a dragon or something. What? Dude, look. You can see the snake. See the snake in there? Oh, my. Can I touch it? Yeah. So what happened is, is that, so this female did the same thing last year. It's non-calcified all the way. So what kind of snake is this? This is from a spotted python. 
That literally is wild. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, but then again, I also never even seen a snake egg until I started working. And of course, you can see that chicken strip is finally settling into his new enclosure. Just so much more space. Definitely, this is a great terracing right here because he can go to the back and really heat himself up if he wants to. But then he can come up a little bit front where he is now, cool off a little bit, or he can go right over here to the cool side of the cage. The first day or two, he definitely seemed freaked out with the extra space and stuff like that. But now he seems to be have settled in really, really well. So I'm super excited about this. And hopefully now, once he gets comfortable with this enclosure, we can actually do a little bit more work with him, calm him down. Because you remember last time, he definitely lit me up. If you didn't see that one, uh, go ahead and roll that, Jay. Okay, check this out. Whoa! Ow, got me, got me. He's a biter now. Just a little update on those mole snakes I got from South Africa that are absolutely wonderful. I'm trying to breed them. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to get babies or not, but hey, I've been putting them together and hoping and crossing my fingers for them. But wow, I love these snakes so much. I mean, just look at what a ripper this animal is and super docile too. This is definitely going over to Reptarium 3.0. People ask me all the time, like, what's my favorite corn snake morph? I mean, they ask me what my favorite snake is all the time and I'm always like, I can't ever choose. But I will say I've often seen said that the hypo lavender corn snakes are my favorite when it comes to just the color palette because it's got that little bit of lavender color it's got like pink coming through it's just an absolutely beautiful animal and the lavender was actually produced by a guy named Rich Sikowski many many years ago and then of course the hypo is a recessive mutation as well so it's a double recessive mutation but just two genes in this animal and look at how absolutely ridiculous it looks I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy today's video right here is a playlist of feeding a bunch of reptiles on this side you can certainly subscribe to this vlog channel. I would appreciate that. Turn your post notifications on. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.